What's up guys, JPAT Diecast here with another NASCAR Diecast review and today we're going to be looking at a NASCAR Classic, Mark Martin's 1990 Folgers, Tyson Holly Farms 400 North, Bur North Wilkesboro win. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review with a quick 360 of this car. Really love these NASCAR Classics, even though they can vary time to time with uh, licensing issues and all that good stuff. This is one I was glad to pick up. I need a lot more Mark Martin cars. This is a classic Folgers. Really, really on a Folgers kick this year with the, um, the 40th anniversary with uh, Tim Richmond and Rick Hendrick and Contrader cards coming out. And I think they actually have, what, they made another race version? A different race of this car, of the Folgers car? I don't remember which one it is, but... Anyways, we'll take a look, quick look at it. Let's look at the damage. So we got T-Bird on the bottom there. We got number six. We got Ford. On the hood, we have Mountain Grown Folgers Coffee and Valvoline. Take a look underneath the hood. We got the uh, engine detail right there. Nope. Oh. Underneath, we have Ford and Folgers. It's got the old, uh, back then, most of the cars had white underneath the hood. That was all colored to it. Uh, no roof flaps yet. I think they started that in, what, 92, maybe? 92, 93, I don't remember. But we still have no roof flaps. We do have the number six. In that old font on the back, we have Sunny Delight, which is Sunny D and Centrus Hill Select. Thankfully, it does open. There's our fuel cell in there. This is number 418. On the back, we have Folgers, Valvoline, number six. We got a good bit of damage did a pretty good job making that look like it's actually there, if you look at it right. Sometimes these look wonky, but I do appreciate the effort. Those are also the Ford logo. It's supposed to be bent in, up in the bumper, and bent down right here. That actually looks pretty accurate to the picture, so. But anyways, uh, on this side we have Valvoline, we got Folgers. Our 1990 NASCAR Cup Series contingencies. I don't know why they don't have the Cup Series right here. That's weird. I usually do that with these classics. Varies. We got a good donut over the six. We got TJ, TG Shepherd's Waking Up Tour. Citrus Hill, Sunny Delight. We got Sickens. We got Carlite, Ford, Automotive Safety Glass. Competition Cams. Quartermaster, Bowman, Mac Tools. On the C post, we got Valvoline. On the B post, just Ford. On the A post, NASCAR race car. On the name rail, Mark Martin signature. I do feel like this car, from looking at the pictures, it's got a little bit more metallic in it. Just slightly metallic. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can't tell. That is an old picture I'm looking at. On the other side, we have some more donuts. It's a really good race damage car. With our old contingencies and such. No core glass. And there's the underside of the car. I love the old T-Birds and Apollos. Those are some of my favorites to get. And of course, and of course the old Monte Carlo Air Coupes. Of course, we just have our uh, old plain NASCAR Classics box. No render of the car. Got legal stuff. And this is, they made 1,272 of these. As you can hear, all the screws from the base clicking around in there. This one does come with a sat card with actual pictures, unlike the Dell Earnhardt 1998 win. I much prefer when they do this. There's a young Mark Martin. Mark Martin looked 40 when he was 30. The picture of the car. Pretty good likeness. They did a good job. Anyways, if you want this car, um, it is still pretty gettable, I believe. I think uh, they still have quite a few at the Lionel store in Opry Mills. But as far as getting it off eBay or whatnot, might be a little bit more difficult. I'm not sure. But uh, I found if you, if you find this, you're a Martin fan and you want it, 
get it now because I will guarantee this car five or six years down the five or six years down the road it's going to be uh rare just like his 1993 Valvoline car which is one I wish I got but I did not but anyways that's pretty much it for this review if you enjoyed it please with a thumbs up and subscribe you can uh, follow me on my Instagram at jpat underscore diecast too Hope you have a great day or night, wherever you may be. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.